Welcome back and thanks for staying with us. The Eastern Cape Health Department has delivered the much needed protective gear to the Nelson Mandela Bay to fight the spread of the coronavirus. These include 10,000 surgical masks, almost 4,000 N95 masks, sanitizers, gloves and aprons. This after Health Minister Dr. Zuelim Kize left the Metro fuming on Wednesday over the unpreparedness of the department and the Metro to deal with the screening and testing and getting quarantine sites ready. Meanwhile, the ANC Youth League in Nelson Mandela Bay is calling for Eastern Cape Health MEC Cindy Swagomba to be recalled and to be replaced by a medical doctor. For more on the story, ANC Youth League Regional Task Team convener Bongani Mabusela joins us now on the line. A very good morning to you, Mr. Mabusela. What's the main basis that you want Health MEC Cindy Swagomba to be uh, fired and be replaced with a medical doctor for? Um, good day, Tezwin. Good day to your to your viewers. First, let's 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 first in, uh, welcome the intervention by the National Department of Health to quickly speed up the intervention that must come to the metro. Clearly, one would notice that there has been a, a lack of providing the services that is highly needed during these difficult times. Um, the the, the ANC in the metro is calling for the the MEC to be replaced by someone that has expertise and knowledge within the medical fraternity. It's just that the headlines of Herald have, have had a mismatch between the detail of the segment and, and the head that it's have. However, it is not an, an anomal, um, as you recall, that the current MEC of, 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 of Gauteng is a doctor, Madele Masuku. The Minister of, of Health currently um, is a doctor, Minister Mkhize. Before then, we had, we had uh, Minister Mussolini. It is not an accident of history. It tells you that the, the, the health fraternity itself requires people with not only rely on, on, on organic interferism, but people that have a vast understanding and knowledge within such a technical uh, fraternity itself. So when we, it's not a personal uh, request, it's not emotionally based, but we're saying the pandemic uh, has, has actually proven to ourselves that, look, whoever we deploy in a particular role, it must be someone that has a vast knowledge and understanding of the specific that is required for the role itself. What were the specific issues that came up during the week when the health minister came through? Look, look from, I'll, I'll, I'll take it as from the eye of an ordinary citizen. So some of us don't think in the boardrooms at the job. We live with our, our, our communities. There were serious problems of, of productive gears, your PPEs. You know, if you look at the statistics, you have more than a thousand people that are conducted. But if you look at the numbers of the people that have been tested and screened, they're very low. You, 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 would swear, you would swear there's by the manner in which uh, there's been a lack of the interface between the department and the society. The, the, the statistics will, will literally grow high from, from the intervention of the minister going to that. So you, you, there is no proper link. There is no sense of a pulse uh, of, of from the department side uh, uh, to, to the community. And we've later realized that there are even vacancies within the department. Those vacancies that are supposed to be filled by people that will assist in fast tracking and dispatch the necessary uh, services that are required. So it is, as we've said, we, we, we really need an intervention as provided by the Assam Minister. But equally, let's get people that uh, uh, have know-how. Let's get people that are proactive. Let's get people that will that will follow children from the national from the national president on how to deal with a pragmatic approach in addressing the issue of COVID-19 and beyond and beyond. As we report on an increase in COVID-19 infections in the country, uh, one of the highest numbers, in fact, the highest number comes from the Eastern Cape. Do you think this is because uh, uh, the province has jacked up I I its facilities and, and testing uh, capabilities? Look, look, there, 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 there might be a number of reasons why, 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 why the Eastern Cape now is, is taking a lead. Could have been the, the exodus from other provinces before the lockdown. But, but in the main, it, I think it's, it's because of the lack of the department provincially beyond its, 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 its normalities to try and go back to our people, to try and, and, and apply the lockdown regulation rules, to try and provide all the necessary equipment required for, for, for the corona, coronavirus uh, pandemic to be kept. That is the essence. We need someone that will change the operas uh, approach of the department, someone that will be dealing with the issue head on so that we can be able to see better results. In the main, you need a proper strategy, uh, a MEC deployed to fundamentally address the issues that are facing our people in the, in the province.
So the Health Minister, Dr. Zerunkize, has called uh, up uh, a specialist team to help Eastern Cape numbers uh, 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 to monitor them. But you still want her to be recalled and replaced. You, you don't think she needs uh, assistance, perhaps? Look, look, look um, I, when, when we sat down as the structure to analyze, the, the COVID-19 pandemic um, quagmire was a, was a pinnacle point. But beyond that, the health, uh, uh, the health department and, and its own operations in the province has not presented a much more desirable uh, kind, of, kind of a state of affairs. So we're saying probably let's take tune and know to say, let's not wait for things to boil to this point. From our, from our own set, when we plan these deployments, let's get people to remember, the ANC is for the people. The ANC identifies societal problems and provide much needed solutions to them. So from the point of deployment, let's get people that, that will suit into the role and make sure that we don't have these hiccups, we don't depend on contingency and, and, and interventions from national for us to be able to discharge what is of our necessary duties as, as, as government. So what's the way forward now? We still, still call for, for, for the MEC to be redeployed, um, uh, to wait, best to tell, but really now the health department doesn't need people that will learn from the role. They need people that will be there, kickstart, make sure that they, they, they recoup the lost ground and make sure that closer to enough to curb the, the coronavirus and we, and we normalize the situation and we flatten the curve. When do you hope to get a response from the African National Pro, uh, Congress National? Look, look, look uh, ours, ours is to is to drive, drive the narrative. Um, to, ours is to instigate the debate. Ours is to present the case of the voicelessness of the youth league. Ours is to make sure that we are the front line in defence of our people. But we know the ANC is a categorisation. We know the ANC will apply their mind. We might we might not be proper. We might be harsh as the youth league. But we are saying this is what we are saying, and this is. This is coming at the center and the hearts of our people. We want to see change. We want this, this virus to be treated as, as a highly important so that can be kept as soon as possible. Thank you. Let's, uh, let's just talk about your statement where you say that the NC League is extremely disgusted by the inhumane conduct of some of the people whom you consider leaders of society who have opted to steal the food supplies from poor people who are in serious need of it for their survival. Have these people been arrested? Do you know who these people are? Look, um, we, we, we are utterly disgusted by, 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 by what you have seen. Uh, it is it is a known fact. Um, we have what we have done at the region of Nelson Mandela. We have we have made contact with our regional coordinator, Comrade Nakola, to say we have received these cases. Here are the people. Here are the allegations. Please further investigate if these allegations are true. And if upon it that they are true, the ANC must act. There must be consequence punishment. We can't from time to time deploy people to serve the interest of the vast majority of our people. But at the center of that, of, of that process, you find people enriching themselves, you find people uh, playing, playing, playing God with the services that were supposed to come to go to the needy and, and, and the poor. We have, we have not, we have not uh, finalized the issue. We are yet to meet with the regional uh, coordinator. Look at these cases, cases, investigate these cases. If they're found to be true, the ANC must act and the ANC must act harshly. Thank you so much for talking to us this morning. All right. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for your day.